I've just ordered the new Ashford E. Carter from New Zealand and it arrived in the mail and I'm very excited to open this up and see what it looks like. I'm going to have you unbox it with me. When this item was first released, it was available as a pre-order. It was during the pandemic and it did take five months to receive it. If you check the website now, it appears to be in stock. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to lift this out and I'm probably going to need a helper to lift this out. So we are going to take a pause for a moment. So I needed some help lifting this out of the outer box. So now this is the inner box that it's coming in. This was shipped in high quality cardboard. The first thing we'll find is the instructions on the top. Okay, here we've got some instructions here. It says opening instructions. Remove the transformer, foot switch, and accessories from the carton. Read and fully understand the safety and operating instructions. Lie the carton on its back with the label end of the carton on the floor or table. Then carefully slide the carter out of the carton, including the four corner protection pieces. Lift the carter with hands under the front tray and back rail. Sit the carter flat on its rubber feet on a table. Happy carding from New Zealand. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to remove the accessories as the instructions said to do. The first accessory is the Doffer pin, then the foot pedal, and then the power cord. Next, I'm going to carefully tip it on its side. We have a brush and the manual. I'm carefully sliding it out of the box. It is pretty heavy. It's about 33 and a half pounds. Once it's out of the box, I can gently tip it upright. Remove the bubble wrap that is protecting the drums. Inspect it for any damage that may have occurred during shipment. Next, I will be reading the instruction manual on how to assemble. So I just finished reading the assembly instructions, which are located right here with the papers that they send you. So this came with a feed-in paddle, the brush, the oil, brush, and this is the back wooden rail. So the first thing we need to assemble is this. It comes with two large screws and three small screws. So the three small ones we're gonna be using here on these three pre-drilled holes. And we need to attach this to the safety cover. So it's going to go on top. So this will be a two person job because I need someone to hold this still for me right over their pre-drilled holes. And I'll put those three screws in here. And this is the back wooden rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Also, you wanna put, in the, in the instructions, it said to use candle wax on the screw before I insert it in there. So I just had to find an old pumpkin spice candle. I'm just going to dip my screw in that and insert these here. So I just inserted the three screws. I did use the candle wax like the instruction said. I'm not really sure if I needed it, but I did it anyways. So you can see that this plastic cover is now connected to the back wooden rail. So next we're going to slide this in the back and there's some grooves here that it goes into. That just slides in, kind of sits in this low spot. I'm just going to carefully lower this cover and make sure that it's sitting properly. Looks like it is. So this comes with four knobs and two of them will be inserted for this cover. And then the other side. So next we need to install the brush. There's a couple of notches here where this would slide in with the metal part facing up and so the brush would be facing the large drum. However, if I insert it first, then I can't fit the knob on. So I need to take it out and just put this knob on first on this side anyways. And now I can slide that on and it'll fit and then I can get the other side. So 
So I'll just keep that loose for now. So now the brush is installed. We can lift the safety cover back up and over. The last thing that we need to install is this little wooden rail that goes on the side to hold the tools. And you can see that it does have a couple of um, pre-drilled holes here. So we'll be lining this up on the side and using the last screws that it came with. So it came with these two longer screws and we will be lining that up with our pre-drilled holes and, and screwing this in onto the side. So I just finished installing this side rail which holds the tools and I did need to use the candle wax. It was a little bit tighter installing this particular item. And this is what it looks like with the tools held in place. And then on the side, you're going to have the power and the foot pedal plugging in here and here. And as always, Ashford does provide their oil. So this, this completes the assembly. Be sure to check out my next video reviewing the Ashford e-carter. If you're looking to buy this, I'll have a link in the description. Thanks for watching.